Okay, this diagram shows us the arrangement of the air particles when a sound wave passes through it. So, this is seen as a compression. This is the center of refraction and the center of compression. So, usually we take the wavelength as the distance between a consecutive center of compression from here to here or the distance between uh, two successive center of refraction that means from here to the next uh, center of refraction so uh, the wavelength should be from center of compression to center of compression as we can see that we do not have an option uh, for the center of compression to the next center of compression and instead uh, they are looking at this particle so actually the distance between these two particles that are in phase is the same as the uh, distance between two center of compression so the answer is C okay we see a solenoid in this question so we are given the magnetic field so to look at the strength of the magnetic field at different region we look at how close together the magnetic field lines are so as we can see the the magnetic field lines is strongest at M followed by L and K so the answer should be B which says that the strength of the field is greater at M than it is at L initially both metal sphere X and Y they are uncharged so we can represent it with two positive charges and two negative charges each and when a positive charge rod is brought near X the negative charges in both sphere they will be attracted to the positive charge rod as unlike charges attract so the negative charges now they will move to the left side of X and after we separate these two metal sphere the charge distribution on X it will look like this with four negative charges and two positive charges so X will have a net negative charge of two unit and Y Y has two positive charges so it will have a net positive charge of two unit okay with this we can say that the charge on Y is positive and the same size as the charge in as the charge on X answer D okay this question is pretty straightforward in order to find the potential difference across the diode, the voltmeter must be connected in parallel with the diode and out of the four options, only option D has got the voltmeter connected in parallel with the diode and the ammeter is connected correctly because it's connected in series. So the answer is D. A diode is a device that only allows the current to flow in one direction so it can be used as a rectifier and the function of a rectifier is to convert AC current into DC current so the answer is A